is there a way to sync a shared drive on Google Drive with a local folder on my PC? This would be similar to how I can use the Google Drive Stream Sync software to sync my drive with a local PC folder. If most people are new to shared drives, many people who have been using a Gmail address forever might be new, using shared drives is a feature inside of a business account which lets you have a bit like a, let's call it a server drive to do more with your sharing. So your My Drive inside of Google Drive is for your stuff. Think about that like your My Documents on a computer. That's where you store your things. Now you can share things from there. You can just right click, you hit the share button, you share a document, you share a folder with someone even. But a shared drive is something special. A shared drive is not owned by anyone, it's owned by the company. And a shared drive is controlled by the company and you can set certain permissions if you want to lock down not only who has access, but what they can do as well. So if you want, you can let your staff put files into a shared drive, but not take files out. You can share a shared drive across multiple domains. So if you wanna to share to someone who's outside your company or outside your domain, they can access it. That even works for Gmail accounts as well, which is pretty cool. Not for Microsoft accounts, but most people have a Gmail account these days. And this question is asking, well, do shared drives work with Google Drive for desktop? And the good news is, yes, they do. So if you're on a computer, whether you're on a Windows machine or a Mac, I happen to be on a Mac today, Let's go ahead and show you what Google Drive looks like on my Mac. So first of all, I wanna sign into Google Drive, right? So I hit the Google Drive icon here and oh, it looks like the app has changed. And I've even got seven errors there. Okay, there must be some uh, synchronization issues, but I'll deal with those later. And you can see here, I've got a number of different accounts that I've got synchronized with my Google Drive sync. So this account is my personal account. It's a Google Workspace account, but I use it for personal reasons. It's because I wanna have something outside of my business that's separate to IT Genius. And obviously my IT Genius account is my main business account, right? So that's got all of my businessy, worky type information in there. Now you can have multiple accounts here if I wanted to add a Gmail account as well. I could also add a Gmail account. So once I synchronize it and set it up, you can choose how you synchronize, what you synchronize, whether or not you sync photos, blah, blah, blah. I think it's all, yeah, pretty much the same as it's always been there. It just looks like a visual design change they've made. But once you download the app, you sign into your account, that's pretty much all you have to do. Now you'll see everything in your Google Drive on your computer. On the left-hand side, in my Finder window here, I'm gonna expand that a little bit. You'll see I've got multiple Google Workspace accounts synchronized to my computer. This would also work for a Gmail account as well. And from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into one of these. I'll go into my business one here and you'll see immediately I've got not only my drive, but I also have shared drives as well. So that lets me know that I've got all the stuff that's sitting in my my drive, all that junk. And then I've got my shared drives and that includes drives from my company. And we put the little eye icon there to know that it's IT Genius. And then there's also other ones as well. So there's other files from other businesses. Now, when I access these on the web, when I go to shared drives on the web, I can actually see which company they're owned by. So you can see some of these shared drives are owned by different companies or organizations. And I can see that on the web, but not on my local computer. That's okay, not to worry. That's why we use the little emojis so we know what's what. And shared drives acts the same way that my drive does. If I want to open a file, all I need to do is click through, find the right file, and if it's something like maybe a PDF, I can double click and it will immediately open that file. Now it's downloading that in the background and it's doing that in real time. Now I've got a pretty fast internet connection, but that was a five megabyte file and it downloaded it pretty much instantly and opened it on my computer. You can see the little cloud icon here and this is a Mac feature, but you know Windows has something similar as well. And that shows me the status of these files. Have they been downloaded to my computer in a local copy or not? Now, if I wanted to download something really easy, I can just click these download buttons and it's gonna download it to my computer. It's not necessarily gonna keep it there forever. It's just gonna cache a copy or keep a temporary copy on my computer until it decides that I don't need it anymore. Maybe my hard drive gets a bit full or maybe it decides that, you know what, Peter hasn't used this file in a year. Let's put it back on the cloud and we'll remove the local copy. Now Google just does automatically all of this via AI. You can't really control it. But if you do want a file to be available offline and you wanna force it to always be available offline, that's pretty straightforward. You just right click on the file, you find your Google Drive options here and you choose to make available offline. Now it might look 
a tiny bit different on a Windows computer or on a Chromebook, but fundamentally Google Drive works the same on all devices. You right click, you choose to keep it offline and you can see there's a very small green tick box here, which means that that is saved offline. And even if my hard drive is running out of space, it's gonna keep it there. That will definitely keep every single one of those files offline. So you've got two options. You've got the temporary option, if you've got a good internet connection, you can just go to any one of these files and just double click and open it. Let's try sort of video there. It's 90 megabytes. Let's double click that and see how long it takes to download. And you'll see the little icon changing here as it downloads that file. That should be pretty darn quick. It seems to be moving through quickly. All right, here we go. The file has opened. So that's how we work with shared drives locally. This all happens automatically when you install the Google Drive app. And you can see here, it also works for my other workspace accounts in tandem. You can run multiple accounts at the same time. And anything I drag and drop into these shared drives is gonna upload into my Google Drive. And then eventually I'll see the same thing online. So there you go. If you wanna get shared drive synchronized down to your local machine, it works just like your My Drive works. Install the app and then you choose which data you wanna keep saved offline. But for anything else, you can always open it from anywhere at any time. As long as you've got an internet connection, it'll download it on the fly and allow you to open that file. If you need more help with what we've covered in this video, IT Genius provides support services to businesses all over the world with problems just like this. Click the link below to get started.